Hello. All right. Thank you for joining me today for Number Talk. Yesterday was Sunday. So if yesterday was Sunday, what day is it today? It is Monday. Excellent. I am going to um, work again with dominoes today. So I'm going to hold them up quick and I want you to quickly see if you can tell me how many dots you see and think about how you counted them. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's see if you can do it super fast. Okay, how many? Five, excellent. When you were counting them, how did you count them? Okay, so you may have saw one and four, or four and one. So did you see four, and you said four, five, and you counted on, or did you see four and one, and you knew that it was five? Excellent. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, ready? Okay, how many? Excellent, six. How did you count it? Okay, so you may have said two and four. Or maybe you saw four and then you said five, six. And you counted on to figure out that it was six. Excellent. Okay, what about this one? It's going to be fast. How many? Four. Good job. So we see four here and zero there. All right, let's look at this one. How many? Excellent. That was four, too. But this one has three and one. And this one had four and zero. So we can compare. They both have four, but it shows it different ways. Okay, ready for another one? Okay, how many? Excellent, seven. How did you see it? Yeah, so we see five and two. Five and two is seven. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Okay, how many was that? Excellent, five, three, and two. Very good. All right, so if you have some dominoes at home that you work with, parents, you can make a piece of paper like this and just put the numbers, draw a line, and you can have your students count how many dots and put it in a row, and then they can use it after they have a few, they can use it to talk about the difference. So here I have three and two. This one is one and four, but they all make five. You can put everything that makes five here and everything that makes uh, four different ways to make four here. You could do a few numbers at a time, do three through six. Then you could do another one that has seven through 10 and have them work with their dominoes at home. The math problem for today is there were six butterflies sitting on a flower. Okay, so let's think about that. There were six butterflies sitting on a flower and two butterflies flew away. So how many butterflies are left? Okay, so I want you to think about what do you know and what are you trying to find out? There were six butterflies on a flower Two butterflies flew away. How many butterflies are left? Remember to use pictures, numbers, and words to show your work. And if you want to send me a picture of your math problem, I would love to see it. All right, come back and visit me tomorrow. Bye.